and uh, you guys are all I believe. So, <laughs> we're going to release from your hostage situation. Uh, please welcome to the stage, John Hellboy. How's it going, everyone? Good. My name's John. Uh, my dad calls me Jonathan. That's my full name. Uh, but you're not my dad. I don't even know you. I mean, if you and I were walking out of the supermarket together, I'd yell, this man is not my father, and they'd take you away, and you'd stop bossing me around. Um, I told that joke, if you can call it a joke, in, uh, in a room one time, and my dad was listening. And when I said, you're not my dad, he said, yes, I am. And I would have been pretty upset at him for doing that. Interrupting my act, but it was the first time I ever met him. It's really emotional. Uh, I jumped off the stage, we had a hug, had a catch, you know. Uh, it was really beautiful, but the story doesn't end really well. Um, turns out he wasn't my dad, he was just uh, some guy that wanted my kidney. <laughs> yeah, pretty heartbreaking. Uh, I, he would have gotten away with it too, uh, but I was on the operating table with the IV in my arm and everything. And he looked at me and he said, I can't thank you enough for doing this for me, John. And I said, what did you call me? <laughs> my name comes from Jonathan. It's a frog. Um, yeah, and it turns out I should have known that he wasn't my father a lot earlier. For one thing, I already had a dad. And uh, for the next reason is that I would go and I'd introduce him to people as my father, and they would start laughing. And I thought they were just laughing at joy that I had found my father. But uh, they were laughing because he was Asian. And that's, that's terrible. You should never laugh at anyone because they're Asian. So, um, so I left the operating room and I assumed he died, which is a lot to carry around with you for a long time. Knowing that somebody died because you didn't give him your, your kidney. Uh, what was I supposed to do? I only have two of them. He duped me. It was, it was a bad situation, but I moved here about two months ago, I moved to Louisville, and about a week ago, I was over on St. Matthew's, and someone re-rented me, which tends to happen here. I'm, I'm really trying to not develop a negative stereotype about Louisville, but that'd be a lot easier if you guys would stop crashing in my car with your car. Um, and I, I got out of the car, and I looked behind me, and who should emerge from the driver's seat of this car but my very own Asian not father. <laughs> and I looked at him and I was like, Dad? He said, you, you know I'm not your dad, right? And I didn't imitate his accent, but that would sound racist, so I'm just going to stick with this. So he said, you know I'm not your dad, right? And I said, well, yeah, but I, I left before I got your name and I didn't want you to think that I'd forgotten about you. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. I'm Jet. I said, Jet? That's... Is that like a family name or something? And he said, no, that's a very popular name. The year I was born. I let that go. And I, I was like, we exchanged information, but it was nagging at me. And I was like, How did, where did you get a kidney? Who, who gave you a kidney? And he said, oh, oh, I never got one. And I was like, well, how are, how are you still alive? And he said, oh, I, I was never going to die. I just needed to hear some backup. <laughs> like, a backup kidney. And that really hit me pretty hard. I, uh, for one, he duped me. I never want to be like him, even if he is my Asian not father. <laughs> but for two, like, I, he's right. I really should think about getting a backup kidney. <laughs> I only, I mean, the kidneys are like the batteries of the body. I, I have backup batteries for all sorts of things. I should probably think about getting an extra one for myself. Um, so all that to say, before I finish my story, I just want to ask the room, like, does anybody have an extra kidney that I could have? I don't know anybody that does. If, no? No one? Okay, well, if you think of anybody, let me know. It's really, it's, it's been on my mind for a long time. So, we're out of since last week. So, we, uh, we called the cops, and we were waiting for him, and Jet was, like, looking at his watch, and he was pacing back and forth, and he was saying, man, I, I, I gotta go, you should... You should give me your car. And I was like, I'm not going to give you my car. We'll just wait for the cops to show up. He's like, No, man, I've got like a premiere that I got to get to. Like, can you just give me your car? And I said, No, no. And he's like, I'll give you my car. I said, Well, that would be great if it hadn't smashed into my superior bumper. But it, your your car smashed. I'm not going to take your car. And he said, You should take my car. Give me your car. And I said, No, give me your car. And right then, the cops showed up. And they got out of the car, and I yelled the first thing that came to my mind. I said, this man is not my father. <laughs> and then they took him away, and he stopped boxing me around. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Thank you. Woo!